Hi everybody, Mr. Machado here with another video for you to keep learning from home. Today's video is about vocabulary. You already know the vocabulary are the important words that I need to use so I can sound like an expert. And they're vocabulary words about every single day. Today's topic is math. We are going to be talking a little bit about area and perimeter, which are two concepts that you have already learned and you already know. So it's just going to be a quick review about those two different concepts. So the first word we are going to review is the word perimeter. So perimeter is the distance around a shape. When you're thinking about perimeter, you are thinking about the outside of a shape, the measurements outside of the shape. So if I take a look at the example right here, we have a quadrilateral. We have a shape with four different sides and we have the measurements for each one of those sides. One side is seven centimeters, the other one is five, the other one is five and the other one is seven. So I have all the measurements there. If I have to find the perimeter, if I have to find the distance, the measurement around this entire shape, I would have to add all those numbers. So perimeter goes with addition. That's the operation that I use to find the perimeter of shapes. And I have to add all the sides. In this example right here, we have four sides. So we are going to add those four sides. But if you have a shape that has more than four sides, it's okay, you are going to add all the sides you see. So for example, perimeter right here, it's equals to seven centimeters plus seven centimeters plus five centimeters, plus five centimeters. So those are all the measurements all around the shape. And the total would be 24 centimeters. So the important thing about the perimeter is I always have to label my answer. You always have to put the label right there. If you don't know the unit of measurement, you are just going to write down units. But if you do know, in this case, in the example we just saw, they're talking about centimeters. So you always have to stick a label on your answer instead of just putting the number out there. And I like to think about labels just like we use in school. We have books, we have journals, we have a folders, a lot of different things that we have a label right there with our names. So if anybody finds it, they know who to return. So same thing with the numbers. If you put a number on the paper, if you find the perimeter, make sure that you add a little label. If we're talking about yards, write yards. If you're talking about meters, write meters. And if you don't know the units, if you just have the numbers around the shape, just write down the word units. Oscar and I love to go on walks every single morning. That's the first thing we do every single day when we wake up. There is a big, beautiful field in our neighborhood. So we just walk to the field every single day and we decide to go on a little walk. Sometimes we run the perimeter. We run the outside of the field. So the other day I was actually wondering what is the perimeter of the field? How much do we run when we go around one time, when we do one lap? So I decided that we could figure that out together. I decided to use my GPS to track the run. So you are going to be able to see how we go all around the field. So I figured out the measurements of the field so we could actually find the perimeter. So here are the measurements. The field is 100 yards by 90 yards, 100 yards on the bottom and 90 yards on the other side. So let's find the perimeter. We know that to find the perimeter, all I have to do is add all sides. I love a good formula. I always like to have a little structure to follow. So I like to write perimeter equals side plus side plus side plus side. So I have four sides, so I write the letter S four times to remind my brain that I have to have four numbers there. So perimeter equals two, and I start getting the numbers from my figure, from my shape. 100 plus 90 plus 100 plus 90. And now I'm going to solve and find the perimeter. Well, I know that 100 plus 90 equals 190, and I do that again, so now I have 190 plus 190. I stack those numbers up, and I did my addition and I found my sum. The sum was 380. How many yards did Oscar and I run? Well, the perimeter is 380 yards. You see that I put my label right there? I know the units. When I look at my figure, when I look at the picture right there, I have the units. I measure the field in yards. So I should be using the word yards when I find the perimeter. So now let's talk about the second word. The second word is the word area. 
The area is the number of square units needed to cover a flat surface. So the area, it's actually the amount of square units that I have inside a shape. So to find the area, I have to use a different operation. Instead of adding, I'm going to use multiplication. I'm going to multiply. And instead of using all the numbers to find the area, you have to multiply two numbers, only two numbers. Sometimes you're going to have a picture that have all the square units tiled right in front of you, but most of the times you are going to have to multiply yourself. But Mr. Machado, what are the two numbers that I have to multiply? Well, you have to multiply the length. That's the next word we are going to talk about. The length is how long something is. Is the dis distance between one point and another you can find the length in lots of different types of measurements, but the most popular ones here in the United States are going to be inches, feet, centimeters, yards, and so on. Remember, the word length starts with the letter L, and the word long also starts with the letter L. So the length is how long something is. That's one of the numbers that we need. What about the other number? The other number is going to be the width. The width is how wide something is. It's the distance that goes across side to side. And again, just like the length, the width can come in a lot of different types of measurements, inches, feet, centimeters, yards, and so on. And just like the connection that we made with the word length, the word width also starts with W. So you can think about wide. The width is how wide something is. So length is how long something is, width is how wide something is. Those are the two numbers that I need in order to find the area of a shape. But the interesting thing about the area is that the answer is going to be a little different. When you put your label at the answer, when you find the area and you have to put your label, your label is not simply going to be the units that you use. You have to use the word square units. Because remember, when we are talking about area, we are talking about the amount of units that I need to cover the inside of a shape. So that's why I have to use the word square unit. So if I know the unit, if the unit is inch, I'm going to say square inch. If the unit is yard, I'm going to say square yard. But if I don't know the unit, I'm going to write down square units. So the day that Oscar and I decided to go on a run around the field and find the perimeter, I noticed that there was a lot of trash on the field. And a lot of people go there to exercise. And unfortunately, a lot of people leave their trash behind. So Oscar and I decided to go in the field and cover just a small area because like I said, the field is huge. We wouldn't have time to do the whole thing, but we decided to do a small area, a small part of the field and collect as much trash as we could. So I went back home, got a plastic bag, and both Oscar and I headed straight back to the field. And we decided to find just a little area, a little space on the field that we would walk back and forth and cover that whole area to try to clean that area. And we did it, we collected a lot of trash. But then at the end, both Oscar and I were wondering how much space did we clean? What is the area of that space that we decided to clean? So here's a picture of the section of the field that we covered. We only did a small section, like I said, and those are the numbers. The length is nine yards, so that section was nine yards long, and the width is five yards. That section was five yards wide. So now that I have those numbers, I can find the area. We know that to find the area, I have to multiply the length and the width. So the formula that I like to use is area equals length times width. So I know that the length is nine. I know that the width is five. So I multiplied nine times five. I made my list of multiples and I know that nine times five equals 45. And just like I said a few minutes ago, every time I find the area, I have to label with the word square and the units that I have. So in this case, I know the units. The units are yards. So my answer is going to be 45 square yards. So that's it. That was a quick review of area and perimeter. Those are two concepts that you are very familiar with. I just wanna make sure that you remember all the words you have to use when we are solving area and perimeter problems. 
So now let's take a look at an exit ticket. You might have noticed that all of my exit tickets are based on the movies that we are watching over the weekend. So the movie that we just watched was Sonic the Hedgehog. So let's read what the question says. One night, Sonic the Hedgehog was playing baseball by himself. And if you watch the movie, that was right in the beginning of the movie. He ran at supersonic speed around the field. What is the area and the perimeter of the baseball field? First, write your equation and solve it to find the answer. And second, write a small sentence explaining the steps you took to solve it. There is a picture of Sonic's field with the measurements right there. So the measurements of his field are seven yards by six yards, seven yards, and six yards. So you know exactly what to do. You have one box to find the area and another box to find the perimeter. Remember, I need different operations if I'm finding area and perimeter, and I also have to label my answer in a different way. So that's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoy reviewing a little bit of area and perimeter, and I'll see you guys next time with another video for you to keep learning from home. Take care.